It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of W. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. Hip splash! Oh, a knee! Lights out. Incoming. Big time power. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. There it is. Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he makes the early save? Oh. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. He's lost some of his win now. Gets him with the counter. And that might start the momentum swing that Montez needed. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Yeah, Ford's having trouble fighting back. He's been placed in the corner now. Moonsault. Counters that. Ford weathered the storm and is looking to rain down some damage of his own. Up into the electric chair. Oh my God, a German. with an elbow. Able to avoid any harm there. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. He skirts around it. Check this out. Just deadlift it up into a power bomb. And the exclamation point. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Electric chair. Oh, what a driver. Is it enough for the lock? Two. That will end it. Here is your winner, Kenny Omega. The lock certainly lived up to the hype tonight, Cole. There's a reason everyone in WWE is so excited about the lock's future. I'll hang my hat on a win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of. Not bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. 
I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? Fine. Understood. I'll trust the process. Now you're talking. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. What are you doing here? I am here as a representative of the New Day, the longest tenured faction in WWE. Kind of like welcoming a new neighbor who just moved in. It's become our custom to welcome all new factions to WWE. And there's even a gift basket coming for you and your Evolution friends. Full disclosure, Retribution broke up before we could give them theirs, so we repurposed some items. Be sure to check the expiration date on those summer sausages. Thanks, I guess. I'll let the other guys know you stopped by. If you ever need any tips on how to stick together as long as the New Day has, just let me know. Faction longevity and continuity not only equals success in the ring, but also outside. Have you thought about branding opportunities? We've mainly been focused on in-ring success. You know, winning championships. Think bigger. Evolution branded suits, collared shirts, uh, pleated pants, um, shiny shoes. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> maybe your faction doesn't lend itself as well to merchandising, but maybe it's something as simple as being on the cover of the WWE 2K video game. New Day has that honor this year, but if you play your cards right, that could be evolution for the next game. Why is New Day on the cover of the game? Evolution has the Raw Tag Team Championships, and I'm Intercontinental Champion. You have... nothing. New Day is a proven commodity! We've held Tag Team Gold over ten times, and we'll get those back soon enough. Maybe I'll even take your Intercontinental Championship, too. Would be a nice moment to feature in the game's New Day Showcase mode. Thanks for all the advice, but we're handling everything just fine on our own. Okay, well, I tried. Don't come crying to me in six months when your faction breaks up. 
T-Bar and Mace did that, and it was super awkward. I've been thinking about our last conversation, and it left a bad taste in my mouth. Kind of like everything in that gift basket you sent us. See? That's what I'm talking about! Rude! If you just came here to rehash an old conversation, I don't have time for that. Fine. Just thought you would want some feedback on how your personal interactions could be improved. Guess not. been thinking about our last conversation and it left a bad kind of like everything in that gift see if you thought that was rude you have no idea what we're capable of again with the threats i don't know why i try with you Perfect. That's gonna look great on the game cover. Nice. New day rocks. New day rocks. New day rocks. You want to threaten us, huh? These are our titles. This isn't a game. You want to explain what the hell that was all about? New Day threatened us, so I didn't really have a choice. I had to show them what evolution is all about. No, that's not how this works. How clear do I have to make this? I call the shots in evolution. You might be the lock, but you're not the leader. And Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his stupid plan. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. It's what's held you back your entire career. <sighs> Understood. All right, enough about that. We need to focus on these singles matches before the situation gets any worse. It'll be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. Don't blow this. Again.
It's the man who might transform WW with a path to the Raw Tag Team titles hanging in the balance. The New Day's Xavier Woods will be giving the Intercontinental Champion everything he's got tonight. And it still might not be enough. Woods will need Kofi or Big E to win one of their matches to earn the New Day a Tag Team title match. Is it me or does the lock seem to be in the thick of the action every week? You have to wonder if it'll eventually take a toll on the rookie superstar. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Sit up, Powerball. Penny predicament. Two. And he gets two that time. Letting it get down to the wire a little early. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Vicious right forearm. Clearly waiting for that. Xavier Woods really feeling the heat now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Not even a two count for him. Middle rope, missile drop kick. Hit the target. Momentum is running away from Woods here. The lock isn't holding anything back. Flat Hoist out. It power. Up. Power bomb, and then a knee right to the face. All the way up, and the big time power. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. Tossed into the corner. Hip splash! Good golly, what a knee. Super kick! Vulnerable situation for him. And down with the suplex. There's two! Is it enough to put him away? No! Somehow kicked out. Chop. Lock launching attacks left and right. Woods has got to figure things out in a hurry. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Whoa. Using the ropes as a launching pad. Oh, the top rope on a springboard crossbody. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. No. Two. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Able to reverse that one. Oh, vicious running knee lift. From the apron. Moonsault. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. And now gets tossed into the ring. Up into the electric chair. Oh my God, a German suplex. Oh, oh, timely counter by Locke. Electric chair. Driver, can that finish Woods? That's good. Here is your winner, Kenny Omega. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.